Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how to add a menu bar to our project. So we're inside the main window.cpp file in the constructor. And we'll start by creating a menu bar. The WX frame class has a set menu bar method, so we'll use that. Now if we run this, you'll notice that nothing has changed. That's because, of course, we need to put a menu inside of our menu bar, so let's do that now. So here we're going to append the file menu to the menu bar. And this is going to be the label for the menu. Notice here we put an ampersand before the F. That turns the F into an accelerator. We'll talk about that in a second. So you notice we now have a menu inside of our menu bar called file. And as I stated before, the F is an accelerator. What that means is if we hit Alt F, that will highlight our menu. Now it doesn't show anything because we don't have any menu items in our menu. So let's go ahead and add a menu item. So here we're going to append WXID new to the file menu. WXID new is defined by WX widgets and it's just a number. When we pass this ID to the append method, WX widgets will generate the appropriate WX menu item for us. So let's see what that looks like. So this is the menu item that WX widgets generated for us. And it has the label of new. And it has the keyboard shortcut of control plus N. And no icon. And if you click on this, WX widgets will generate an event. But we're not handling the event right now, so nothing happens. Okay, now let's take a look at how to create a WX menu item directly. When we create a WX menu item, we need to specify the parent. The parent is the WX menu we want the menu item to appear in. In this case, that will be File Menu. Next, we need to specify an ID for the menu item. In this case, we're going to use WX ID Exit. And we'll just append the menu item. Oh, 
Okay, so let's take a look at that. So here's our file menu with our two menu items in it. So this is the first one and this is the one we just created. So we have the label of quit, no keyboard shortcut, and no icon. Okay, now we'd like to create a completely custom menu item. So let's go ahead and do that. WXID any will cause WX widgets to generate an ID for us. Now we need to give our menu item a name. I'm just going to call this test and T will be the accelerator. Next, we'll use the tab character. That tells WX widgets that what follows is the keyboard shortcut. And we'll just make that control plus T. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at that. So here's our custom menu item with the label test and the keyboard shortcut control T and no icon. Now let me just show you how you can add an icon if you want to. For that we'll need to use the WX Art Provider class and we'll need to include that. WX menu item has a set bitmap method which we'll use to set the icon. And we'll need to use the WX R provider class to get the bitmap. Get bitmap is a static method and we just need to pass an ID. In this case the ID will be wxartquit. So here you can see we now have an icon. Now I want to show you what a separator looks like. So we'll just do file menu, append separator. And this right here is the separator. It's just a line. Great. I'm actually going to add another separator. And in between this, we're going to create a submenu.
I'm just going to append a couple of example items to the menu. And now we just need to append the submenu to our menu. So we'll do that with File Menu, Append Submenu. And of course, we'll need to give our submenu a name. And let's see what that looks like. And there you go. Alright guys, I think that's all we're going to cover for today. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.